Hi Sunshine, welcome back to the Mad Girls channel. I'm Taylor Ann, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I style my new short hair. I wasn't really going in calling it a big chop, but I guess in natural terms, when you go from long hair and you cut your hair real short, it's a big chop. So I big chopped my hair, it was long, now it's super short, never been this short in my life as far as I can remember. I just always know I've had super long hair, so this is it. And I am so in love with it. I am excited. I'm excited to be filming this video today to show you guys how I've been styling it. Um, it's kind of, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but not really because I'm just, I haven't been frustrated with it. You know, I I just kind of have been letting it do whatever it does. Like if I put a product in, I expect it to look one way and it comes out looking another way. And I'm like, okay, we're going to roll with this today. Like I'm just really not bothered, not stressed to me. This is no stress, you know, slap the product in, smooth it where I want to smooth it and pray that it stays. And for the most part, it's been doing that. But I'm going to show you a routine that I have been doing from in the shower to the styling and then, you know, the end result, which huh, -da, this is the end result. But you get to see my little outro and a few other honorable mention products that I want to talk to you guys about that I've been using. I've washed my hair about uh, three times now since my hair has been cut. It's one week post Big Chop. I got it cut a week ago today and um, I have washed it more than once and I'll get all into that how many times I'm going to be thinking about washing my hair and all that. So hopefully I answer a lot of those questions. You can just kind of see how I style my hair, you know, how I've been doing it, how I figured it out. So if you want to see that, see me in the shower, the shampoos, conditioners, products, and how I actually apply the product and all of that, my products, different products, then please keep watching. All right. Hi, Sunshines. Tay coming to you from the shower. Okay, so this is day three hair. I haven't washed my hair in about three days. Last time I washed it, I co-washed. So today I thought I would shampoo. I'm going to be using one of my favorite shampoos, the Miche Cleanse Moisturizing Shampoo. It's sulfate-free, so I'm just getting my hair nice and wet before I go in with the Miche Shampoo. This shampoo smells so good and it uh, has a very nice lather, which I really get to see the lather in my hair now. Um, it just gets so lathery and I feel like I'm really cleaning it and I'm enjoying just really um, putting that all in my hair and giving myself a scalp massage and just really massaging it in, making sure I get that scalp. Love it so much. Now I'm playing with my hair. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so fun to go from long hair to short hair. It's so fun. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse the shampoo out completely. And typically I would go in with a conditioner, but today I think I'm just going to go in straight with, ooh, look at nice and clean curlies. Today I'm going to go straight in with a deep conditioner. Again, Miche product Indulge. It's my favorite deep conditioner, my favorite moisturizing deep conditioner. And they have actually a great protein conditioner too. Miche is just for the win with their treatments their moisturizing deep conditioner and their protein deep conditioner are just amazing but this is the moisturizing one which is my favorite smells amazing makes my hair super soft and shiny and moisturized and i love this one so much so i'm putting that all in and i'm going to leave it in my hair for like 10 minutes while i wash the rest of my body do my other types of shower routines and just leave that in and then i will rinse it completely out of my hair my hair is nice and soft and it smells good and the Miche Indulge deep conditioner is just unmatched. I'll probably deep condition my hair once a week like I normally do. Ooh, look at that. Look at the curlies. They're all nice and clean and shiny and moisturized and ready for styling. <laughs> so would you guys believe that I filmed the entire styling section and my camera wasn't on? So <laughs> I was like, and I'll be back with the results and the camera started rolling. I was like, no way. But I just dumped my head in the water again, rinsed the product out, wasting product, ooh, cringe. And uh, so I can show you guys again. So from the top. <laughs> uh, so as you saw in the shower, shampooing my hair goes by really fast these days. You know, detangling, who is she? I don't know who she is. I can detangle my hair so fast just with my fingers, which is super, super nice. So this is my hair fresh out of the shower out of the water, I had to dunk my head again. So here we go, the back, the front. So I am, like I said, one week post Big Chop and um, I've done about like three different washing goes. -ish. I, I haven't really figured out how often I'm going to wash my hair um, and all of that. I think 
definitely alternating shampooing and co-washing so say if it's a week and i wash my hair twice maybe once i'll shampoo the second time i will co-wash um i have noticed that i've been using quite a bit of gel and my scalp has been itchy and i've never had scalp issues maybe because now my hair is down so low the product can like really hit my scalp and so i've been like mm, especially in the back so i think i have to use less gel I think I've also been using gel to like push these parts down. I've been like goofing it on and I just need to accept the fact that they're going to be like big, not big, but like they're going to be long and curly. Like they're not going to lie flat. If I want them to lie flat, I'm probably going to have to cut it down more, which I, I don't really think I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to kind of see what my hair wants to do and accept it as is. So Creams and gels, what I've been using, cream first, gel on top. So the one I'm using today is the Meech uh, Bounce Curl Defining Cream. This product is super popular in the house. It got sent to us like months ago and my brothers have been using it. My boyfriend likes it, mom likes it, I love it. Like this jar is basically empty. It's a great cream. So I don't section my hair anymore in my mirrors right here, I'm in the bathroom. I don't section my hair anymore. Um, just kind of put the product on my hands and just kind of run it through like such. Oh my gosh, my curls feel so healthy. I love it so much. And this is like my little natural curl pattern. No hair, uh, no bleach, no dye, no none of that. So I'll just kind of run it through, show you guys the back. I think I need some more for the back, a little bit more. kind of get it get it in there and then just kind of start laying it in the direction I want so the original haircut was longer on my right side shorter on the left side um, I definitely think I probably could have taken the back down a little bit longer I mean I'm sorry a little bit shorter but it's okay it's okay maybe the next time I'll go shorter but you know, baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> and let's see. So I'll just kind of lay it like that. And now I'm going to go in with some gel. Can you guys hear doggy? He's barking downstairs, he's a little bit upset. He was in here for the first taping of this clip and he was all over the place. And so I was like, no, for the second round, you have to go. Oh, sorry. I'm using the Pattern Stronghold Gel. So we were sent the Pattern products uh, right around the time I cut my hair. So I was like, cool, let's give them a go. And so I've been loving the Pattern Stronghold Gel. It's all I've been using uh, since my hair has been cut as my gel. I've been switching creams, um, but I have not been switching gels yet. Although I can't wait to try gels like the Uncle Funky's uh, gel. I feel like would do great um, in my hair and the Camille Rose Curl Maker I want to try. I want to try the Aunt Jackie's, the, the grapeseed one. There's so many gels lined up. There's so many products lined up. I just, oh, every time it's time to wash my hair, it's like, I want to try something new. But I got success with this uh, wash and go, so I thought I would show you guys this one. So, product on my face. <laughs> so once the gel is like in, I really start just kind of laying my hair, push these parts back, lay this back part flat. I feel like maybe I should like shape up this part. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too, too bothered. You know, my hair short. I let it do what it do, whatever it's going to do. Um, you know, you just kind of have to have new confidence when you switch your style up. Just kind of let it, let it do its thing, let it be. So yeah, this little flip things. All right, see this is where I start like pet layering on the product and I gotta stop. Okay, all right, so lastly, does my hair look white? I promise it's not white. <laughs> it's the lighting, why does it look white? Does it look white? It's not white. These two products, uh, they don't curdle, they mix. So no idea why it's coming off a little white. Maybe the little lights up here. So the last thing I do is lay my little hairs in the front. Again, new pattern edge control I've been using. I've been enjoying that. I also use the Cream of Nature one. I think it's here. 
Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges Extra Hold. I use that one, but I brought my pattern one in. If I can get the jar open, there we go. Boom. It's yellow. It's really cool. Yellow. <laughs> All right. Get a little bit of this. Lay it down on the front. Over here on the sides. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Put a little bit back here. And then I have my edge brush. Just gonna swoop it like that. This this part takes me a while. But like it's basically like two little swoops of sorts. Like that. Lay this part back here. And then I do the same right there. Again, I apologize if you can hear doggy. I'm trying to be a YouTuber and a dog mom at the same time. <laughs> okay. He's a little bit upset, but he was knocking over ring lights and I'm like, doggy, you're not listening. All right, so swoop, swoop. Ooh, that, that's, a, that's a big swoop, that's a deep swoop. It's a swoopity swoop. Okay. <laughs> and that is it. That is how I style. Boom, boom, boom. And so I'm going to let my hair dry and I will show you guys the results. Day one is actually kind of like my favorite because it's more compact. I don't pick it out and then at night I'll sleep with a set pillowcase and it becomes bigger as the days go on. I go about three days. Um, so, but you guys will see it uh, once it's completely dry. I'll come back and show you. So, oh, please. Oh, one more thing. Actually, I will spray my baby hairs with got to be comment down below how you feel about got to be I mentioned it on our live stream. I'm um, like, you know, it really holds my like little swoops in place But is it safe for natural hair? Is it safe? Let me know. I, pe I know people use it to lay their wigs, but um, let me know If you're like not nah, it's good But long term, you know, your edges don't fall out or something like let me know the deal Because I'm like, why don't people even use edge control like this is perfect um it really just holds my little swoops in place and i really do appreciate it even like the next day like i don't have to do uh anything on my swoops because they're still in place so let me know about the got to be long term is this busted let me know all right so i'm gonna let my hair air dry and i'll be back to show you guys the results all right and I am back. These are the results. I would say my hair is about 85% dry, but being 100% dry, it's not gonna look much different than this. Maybe just a little bit harder, but this is what it's looking like. I love it day one. I like how compact it is. I don't pick it out here. I just kind of let it uh, do its thing. And then of course tonight when I sleep on it, it's gonna get a little bit bigger and the next day it gets a little bit bigger. Um, let me know if you guys want a refreshing video. I know you guys do. I'll kind of show you what I've been doing. It's really not that much. I was telling my mom, like, refreshing is in the eyes of the beholder. I said on live that I didn't think I'd be able to, like, spray, 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 shake and go. But, I mean, basically, it's using the As I Am spray. It's actually right here. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water Spray. Spraying, like, the back of my hair. Just kind of going like this a little bit to make it not um, be flat because I slept on it. And going you know my little baby hairs are like stuck in the front still and this is fine so i just use the jamaican black castor oil water the as i am and spray it but if you actually want to see that in action i can show you um which i know you guys probably will want to see that so i'll film it for you guys but this is it so during the styling portion i showed you what i styled with in the shower portion what i styled with all products will be in the description box that i use but i just want to give some honorable mentions because i did say um, that I'm going to be shampooing and co-washing on and off. I'm super excited to finally to be able to use this product or products like this. This is the Honey's Handmade. They have amazing co-washes, but I never really dived in because they're eight ounces and I just felt like I had too much hair and I was going to go through them and I'm just like, why? But uh, I've used it um, once, 
once, one time so far, and I barely used any, but I do want to shampoo and co-wash on and off. I don't want to just keep shampooing my hair, but I use this. This one is the Coconut Cream Infused Carrot Vanilla Co-Wash. They have some great co-washes on their website, different scents, different ingredients, so I definitely want to get a few more of these, but just an honorable mention, the Honey's Handmade Co-Washes I will be using. Um, I want to dive a little bit into the Sultanicals ones if my mom lets me dimble and dabble in her co-washes, but some of these co-washes that are smaller um, to me that are kind of more like specialty from certain brands that I felt like I was just going to go through with my long hair um, I definitely will be diving into now um, I also want to mention the shampoo and conditioner that's new to Curl Smith, the Glow Perfecting oh wait this is the Glow Perfecting conditioner and the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo so they did just drop some like colored gels um where you can like change your hair color but then they also drop this shampoo and conditioner and it's more for like colored hair you know um when I, I had my highlights or if my hair was colored but i love the way it smells so much because it smells like watermelon and i just am obsessed with the smell what it's like this has watermelon seed wild strawberry this is pineapple in it these smell so good and they say that they detangle your hair which they do um, at least the conditioner does smooth vibrant shine so i mean makes my hair shine you know this is like my natural hair color but it still you know brings out the little shine little luster in my natural hair color and you know um it's this full radiance luster color protection i don't know these smell really 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 good and i am obsessed so love these we'll be using both of these because i love the watermelon set and uh lastly i told you guys that i would i've been using the pattern stronghold gel for my gel and i want to dibble and dabble in other gels i have been using other creams this one is new to nature's little secret the strawberry styling smoothie i use this as my cream and put the pattern gel over it loved it so much loved it so much so highly recommend this really really like it hopefully i'll be able to show you guys it in a tutorial very soon but really like this again can't wait to dibble and dabble in other types of creams and gels and leave-ins i'm super excited to be able to do that um with my new short hair but this is it this is it so i'll probably you know today's day one tomorrow will be day two probably you know day three i might leave it depending um but i will be washing my hair probably every two to three days that's what it's looking like right now which i don't mind i enjoy the washing process and it's super easy it's not a whole long drawn out thing you know i'll throw a deep conditioning day in there here and there but um yeah this is it so comment down below what you think what kind of products you use what you think i should use because you know we've been on this channel we've had hundreds of videos on here different products but like tay you should return to this or tay you should return to that try this because i'm seriously overwhelmed I don't know what to use because I want to use everything. I'm just like, Ooh. so let me know what you think I should try next, what you want to see on camera, anything else you want to know about my short hair, how I'm doing certain things or whatever, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and for uh, coming to the Mac Girls channel. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed, if you want to see more content like this. And of course, my partner, Lori Ann, us, our channel, Mac Girls, be part of the Mac Girls family. We'd love to have you. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Doggy's been here, too. You've been so good while I've been filming today. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Doggy. This is Doggy, our mini golden noodle. He is a year and four months. Hi, Doggy. He's so good. He's so good, Nish. He's a little camera shy sometimes. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.